Hey agents and welcome to Shadow Gaming. Today we got the target of loot allocation for August 13th, 2020. Subscribe and like if you enjoy the content. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. So we got Mass in DZ West. We got a World of Holdings in DZ South. And Channel Light in DZ East. Really, there's nothing to get in the Dark Zones. So you got Mass in DZ West if you're looking for the Hollow Man Mass. It does give you about 10% health damage baked into it. People don't really use that anymore, especially after the nerf, after the health damage was cut in half. But it's the only thing that you can actually get health damage baked into. So if you are looking for it, you can farm for it in DZ West. Otherwise, there's nothing else to farm for in the Dark Zones today. Highlights for the north side, we got China Light at Camp White Oak and Submachine Guns at Coney Island Ballpark. Assault Rifles at Coney Island Amusement Park and Badger Tough at Manning National Zoo. If you're looking for the Zero F's chest piece, I just put out a build video last night where you can use the perfect unbreakable chest piece with zero F's. It's a great chest piece to get, so if you're looking for it, grab it today at Manning National Zoo. Assault rifles at the amusement park, so if you're looking for the chameleon or a good top tier assault rifle, you can grab that at the amusement park today. Some machine guns, if you're looking for Lady Death or refarming the chatterbox. You can also get like the safety distance with perfect outsider. Some top tier stuff like the vector variants as well, if you're looking for that. And that's about it for the north side. Alright, highlights for the west side, we got Walker Harrison Co. at Federal Emergency Bunker and Assault Rifles at West End. Sokolov at the Downtown West area and Holsters at Bank HQ. Nipaz at Roosevelt Island and Gear Sets at Foggy Bottom. We also got Grupo Sumbro at the Pentagon and Murakami at Potomac Event Center. So, Grupo Sumbro, one piece for DPS builds, two pieces for the explosives damage, for skill explosives damage. Then of course gear sets at Foggy Bottom if you're looking for anything but System Corruption, which is DZ exclusive. And Foundry Bulwark, Future Initiative Chest and Backpack pieces, which are raid exclusives. Knee pads at Roosevelt Island if you're looking for Ninja Bike Messenger pads, Fox's Pair knee pads or Sawyer's knee pads. Wyvernware for 10% skill damage. Holsters at Bank HQ for Imperial Dynasty and the Forge Holster with 50% shield health baked into it. Assault Rifles at West End if you don't want to farm for the uh, Coney Island Amusement Park. And Walker Harrison Co. if you're looking for the Chain Killer Chest Beast with Perfect Headhunter. Highlights for the East Side, we got Walker Harrison Co. at Downtown East and Providence Defense at Judiciary Square. Pawnee U at Viewpoint Museum and Shotguns at Jefferson Trade Center. Pistols at East Mall and Holsters at Capitol Building. Golan gear at Southwest, and shotguns again at Space Administration HQ. If you're looking for the Sweet Dreams exotic shotgun, you can farm Space Administration HQ and Jefferson Trade Center. Although you might want to farm Jefferson Trade Center, you can get the Sweet Dreams exotic shotgun, and the Coyote's Mask has a chance to drop from the boss at the end. Honey you for the Force Multiplier backpack with perfect combined arms. And then of course, Golan gear at Southwest for the 10% status effects from the One Piece and holsters at Capitol Building if you're looking for the Imperial Dynasty or Forge holster and you don't want to farm over here at the other spot right here at Bank HQ. You can also farm Providence Defense at Judiciary Square if you're looking for any of the mandatory DPS builds like, you know, running all three pieces with it or the Sacrifice chess piece. Petrov for Contractor's Gloves. Walker Harrison Co. if you want to farm Downtown East like the Demolition Site instead of farming over here at the Federal Emergency Bunker. And Overlord Ornaments if you're looking for Fox's pair of knee pads, or you can just farm knee pads targeted loot, which I kind of recommend a little bit more, but it's up to you what you want to do. All right, let's check out New York City and then I'll end the video. All right, we got Richter and Kaiser at the Tombs, Rifles at Civic Center, Douglas and Harding at Stranded Tanker and MMRs at Two Bridges, Fenris at Pathway Park and Light Machine Guns at Battery Park, Golan Gear Financial District, 511 at Wall Street, and Seska at Liberty Island. So Seska is good for that 10% crit hit chance. You can't really do anything if Keener gets, you know, if he becomes invincible from the Defender drone thing. You can like melee him to death, but uh, it's not even worth doing. Light Machine Gun to Battery Park, Bullet King, Pestilence, New Reliable or Good Times named Light Machine Gun. Fenris is great for that 10% Assault Rifle damage from the One Piece. Rifles at Civic Center if you're looking for a good classic M1A or Diamondback, Merciless. Richter and Kaiser is great for the incoming repairs from the first piece for a healer build. And then that's about it. Douglas and Harding for punch drunk mass with 20% headshot damage baked into it. Alright guys, well that's going to be it for the target loot allocation for August 13th. Subscribe and like if you enjoy the content. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, agents.